Hello again, everybody. I wanted to give you an update. I haven't for a while because I've been having some health issues that prevented me from doing a video. One of them being that between last Friday and this week, Tuesday, I had a seizure cluster. A seizure cluster is where you have multiple rounds of seizures over a course of a few days. The longest seizure cluster that I ever had was 15 seizures over the course of three days. Well, this one was uh, from last Friday until Tuesday, and I had, over the course of those what, five days, I had 38 seizures. 38 untreated seizures. And I could not go into the hospital because I am listed with all three of the local ERs as a frequent flyer because of my seizures, because I have injured myself with my seizures, or because I can't get the seizures to stop because the cluster is going on and on and on, or, you know, because I've, I've fallen or, and hit my head or something like that. They, they assume that I am coming in because I am a drug seeker looking for pain meds, which is never the issue. I do not go in looking for pain meds. I go in because I want a shot of Ativan, which will break up the cluster. When you have NESD, which is non-epileptic seizure disorder, you just keep having seizures, and the doctors tell you that because they're non-epileptic, you just have to ride the seizure out. They don't do anything to stop your seizures. They don't do anything to calm your seizures. You just have to ride the seizure out. But when you get into a cluster, when the seizure is going over and over and over and over again like that, you end up dealing with it messing with your whole body. You, you get constant headaches. You get shoulder and body pains because you're dealing with all of this pain from head to toe from your body if you if you're a jerker not everybody that has them are, are you know, fall on the floor jerkers and I unfortunately am I, I have what they call tonic colonic seizures which means I fall on the floor and parts of or all of my body shakes it's not as bad as grand mal seizure I am not a violent seizure when I shake, but I do shake, and I have been known to injure myself. Um, the problem is, is that there's no way to stop this from happening. It happens over and over and over and over again when you're in a cluster. And the only thing that most people with NESD find is if they're in a cluster, the only thing that breaks it up is to get a shot of a drug called Ativan, which is an anticonvulsant. But because you have NESD, non-seizure disorder, non-seizure epileptic or non-epileptic seizure disorder I can talk I promise <laughs> they won't usually give it to you right away because it is a, a seizure an epileptic seizure drug but it's also a huge anticonvulsant and it will break up a cluster in somebody that has NESD the problem is is that when I first started dealing with this I would get clusters really bad and so I would have to go in to try and get them to give me a shot of Ativan. And they would give me the sh shot of Ativan. I would be okay. I'd go home. And then two weeks later, I would have another cluster. And I would have to go in and beg for Ativan and so on. And so it became this, like, routine. And so I got put on the frequent flyer list because I kept having concussions. I kept have from hitting my head on things. This is before we figured out that the dog could warn me. Um, I would hit my head on things. I would fall down and hurt myself. I would um, trip and fall and scrape something and be bleeding. I, I have, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have a little scar here and I have another one over here and I have one in my eyebrow of places that I have cut my head open on things. I had to have surgery on this shoulder. I don't know if you can see see the scars or not, but I, I actually tore the Libram in my shoulder, and they had to go in and fix that. All of this during seizures. I have broken things. I have sprained things because I do fall and hit things during my seizures. But the hospital emergency rooms basically declared me a frequent flyer, and they no longer will give me Ativan. They will put me on a cot. They will give me a Physical workup, maybe. Not all of them. 
There's one that won't even do a workup anymore. They put me on the cot. They watch to see if I have another seizure. And then they send me home. And the other two will do a physical workup. They'll check my blood pressure. They'll make sure I'm not running a fever. They'll take some blood to check for an infection. And then they'll send me home. But they don't do anything. They don't give me any kind of med anticonvulsant medication or anything anymore. So I had 38 seizures over the last weekend. And that does not make for a very happy week. <laughs> so I apologize for the lateness of my video. And I also thank God that the seizures did stop. They stopped on Tuesday. And I have had only two seizures since then. Thank you, Jesus, for that. And so if you are having an issue with being in a seizure cluster and it's going on and on and on like that fight for yourself i didn't do that and my home nurse is my um ot and my pt my physical therapist and my occupational therapist kept telling me that i needed to be my own advocate and i needed to stand up for myself and i needed to go in and demand that the hospital treat me and give me that shot of ativan and i i didn't listen I did not fight for myself, and I don't know why. Usually, I am somebody that stands up for herself, stands up for her family, stands up for her children. And I, I mean, I will. I am a fighter, and my problem is, is that I am more likely to fight for my children, or my husband, or my mom when she's sick, or my sister, or my brothers. But I have a hard time standing up for myself. And I think a lot of moms have that issue. They would rather fight for their family than themselves. A lot of women have that issue. So if you are in that, if you're fighting through that, if you're dealing with this issue and you and you know that if you go in there, they're going to give you a hard time because it's NESD and they don't want to deal with that, fight for yourself. Demand that they give you a shot. Tell them, I am here because I need a shot of Ativan to stop this cluster. And then just fight for yourself. Fight and fight and fight. And next time I have a cluster, that is what I intend to do. I intend to fight and fight and fight. I also have a call into my personal physician, the, the doctor that sees me all the time. Her name is Dr. Ann Gonzalez. She is my general practitioner, and she is a fighter. She has spent the last week on the phone trying to get a hold of the neurologist that won't see me anymore because, you know, it's NESD. There's nothing he can do. Trying to get him to sign off on Ativan for me to have at home if I get into a cluster that I can take to stop the clusters. Because apparently that is actually an option, and I didn't even know that was an option, and she didn't even know that was an option. My physical therapist, Jennifer, her mother has seizures, and when she gets into a cluster, she takes Ativan from a prescription that her doctor, that her neurologist gave her to have at home to break up her clusters. So my doctor, my general practitioner, is fighting for me so that she can get me a prescription for that. She doesn't, because it's not her area of expertise, she doesn't know what to prescribe as far as, you know, my weight, my height, that kind of thing, what the dosage would be, and so on. So she is doing research on that. She is trying to talk to the neurologists. She is talking to a couple of neurologists at the hospital that I had my brain mapping done. They're specialists so that she can figure out what she can do to help me since nobody else is. So there's another good one for you. Even if it's not a neurologist, even if it's your normal general practitioner, find a doctor that will fight with you and for you like my general practitioner does because it will change your life to have at least one doctor that is on your side. So don't give up. I know it's pain, a pain. I know it's hard. I know that, and, and it is for me. I admit it. I said it. I did not, I did not fight for myself the way I should have, but I know now that I have to stand up and fight for myself, even if the hospitals and the doctors there don't want to. I will fight for myself next time because I don't want to have 38 seizures. I don't want to be that person that you, that can't get out of bed even with their family right next to them because I could fall out of my wheelchair and have a seizure at any given moment because I am in that cluster. I want to be able to run my own life in some way. 
So next time, I will be fighting for myself, and I will be my own advocate. So stand up for yourself. Fight for yourself. Be your own advocate. Don't ever, ever stop being your own advocate. And thank you for your time.